Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I am sharing with you guys an official office tour. I wanted to switch up my layout, kind of add a couple of different areas in my office and just really build it out to be something special that's going to be functional and cute at the same time. And I'm going to be making some really fun renovations as I kind of move on with my business and get bigger. I wanted to share this with you guys though. So hopefully it would give a little bit of inspiration or inspire you guys to really um, find a space that you can do your work and get your things done and find something that inspires you. Maybe if you're someone who has a small business or you are an entrepreneur and you need a good office space, maybe this will give you some really fun ideas. I'm going to be linking as much as I can down below for you guys to go and check out in case you're interested. If you do not see a link for something and you want to know where it's from, let me know down below in the comments. And question of the day for you guys. I want to know, do you currently have an office space, whether it's in your home or outside of your home? I want to know down below how many of you guys actually do have your own office space. And if you don't, where do you like to do your work at home? So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get the tour started. Welcome to my office. Guys, I apologize for my voice. Real quick before I hop into this tour, I wanted to warn you guys while I'm filming this, my voice is not fully back yet. So just be prepared for a little bit of raspiness and maybe some little, you know, I don't know, some little messes up. So just, I'm sorry. <laughs> so here is what you see when you walk in. My husband's office is over here and then mine is to the left. Looks like this. We have a three bedroom, so we are lucky enough to both have our own office spaces. I've got a Charlie bug in here who, no, does not come with the room, but he hangs out here all the time. Right, bug? He's like, he's mad because he just got his nails trimmed. Um, but over here, we have a wall. This is my whole, like, production side. Very, very functional. I'll go through in a minute. Swinging around on our left side, we have another wall. This is where I have my pink photo backdrop and this pole I can actually switch out with other backdrops. So I've got a couple over here on the side that I occasionally will switch out but I love the pink one a lot. And then I've got an actual closet here. We are not going to go in there because it is a wreck and that is where all the junk goes that I do not need on a daily basis. And then flipping around, that is where we came from. Over here on this side. We've got a couple other things going on here and I'm going to go through those as well for you guys. And then lastly, in between the two walls here, we've got these big old windows with lovely big plantation shutters and they are my fave. So let's swing back in. We're going to start over here in the corner. Like I mentioned before, I have some of my photo backdrops. Um, here's kind of a little dumping station as I like to call it um, when I come in my office I just pulled these out because I got a new phone the other day So those are still sitting there. I do have a pen and a sharpie in this little cup over here It's just a bridesmaid cup um, from my friend Hannah and I keep these this is caught on this But I keep these over here in case I need to write anything on order receipts um, that come out of my printer So here is my printer sitting on top I do have plain paper. Right now there is sticker paper in there. I use my sticker paper for my shipping labels and also making stickers for my orders. Nothing fancy here. It's just an HP Office Jet 3833 in case you are interested. Then I have a nice little nine cube organizer. This is not my favorite thing in the world, but it will do for now. And this is just kind of the situation that I'm working with. Um, I am not a big clutter person. I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like a lot of this craziness going on. So I attempt to put things into kind of like compartments, but I want them all to match. And I don't know, I want to come up with a better system for this. We're going to work on that. It's going to be one of my next projects. But over here, I have a bunch of my t-shirts I sell in my shop because I actually do my own mock-ups sometimes. So these are the ones that I do my mock-ups with because I don't want to use them to sell because I've worn them. This basket here is pretty important. So in the back, these are all designs or mess ups that I've had or I made and then didn't need to ship for some reason. So those are just extras. And then in this little pink basket here, I've got just all of my shipping supplies or things I need when I am shipping up orders. So whenever I'm ready to ship my orders, I'll pull this basket out, plop it up here on the table and I can package all my orders. Over here I've got more sticker paper, some planner stuff, and just some little tech things I'll reach for. 
This is just copy paper. These are some pieces that I'm going to be doing for a video with Printify soon. Um, so I just wanted to keep those neat and tidy. I've got some of our tie-dye masks we offer in the shop. And then these are also mock-ups uh, pieces. And then all of this stuff down here is just random things like for all my other hobbies and stuff that I enjoy doing. So that's what all that is. <laughs> Backing up, this brings us to our actual desk side of the area. My walls are pretty bland over on this side and I might get some sort of, I don't know, maybe a painting up here or something, but for now, this works for me. I do have two Ikea desks here. This is like the mom, and I don't know what this one's called, um, but it's just a littler version basically. This is where all of the work actually gets done. So underneath here is just my camera bag just so I have easy access to it. I have my heat press. This is more of an industrial heat press by Transfer Crafts. It goes down like this whenever you're ready to press the shirt. I have my little scale so I can weigh my orders. I have a Silhouette, not a Cricut. Um, that's just what I've had for a long time so I've just kept it. Then I have two little whiteboards up here um, along with a couple other pieces of things on the wall. So this one's just kind of like fun, inspiration, photos, whatever. This board is actually where I write down like my goals, business plans, outlines, kind of step-by-step -step things that I want to do. It's erased right now just for personal reasons, but that's what's normally there. I have a little marquee board, it's cute. A little quote, picture of me and my husband. Those are pictures of me and my husband up there too. And then right here, these are orders that are either like halfway done, started, have some sort of special thing that goes with them. Basically, those are the ones that are kind of in process that I had to pause on. These are just two plants. Um, I have my laptop, which is just a MacBook Pro, my hard drive, and my little adapter thing. And then I have my big computer, this guy, my husband set up for me, and he is a tank. I mean, this little thing, little thing, this big thing, this box goes with it. Um, it has so much storage, it runs super fast. I have a ton of programs on here. It's an awesome computer. I just am not always wanting to sit down at my desk and do this. Sometimes I wanna go portable, sometimes I wanna sit downstairs in my bed somewhere else. So that's why I have a laptop too. But of course I have an external hard drive so I can kind of transfer back and forth. I've got a trash can under there. I've got my desk chair. This is ideally not gonna stay. I think I'm gonna get a different desk chair soon um, because I want a cuter one. And then on the side here, I've got just some important supplies and things that I reach for whenever I'm making shirts. So some extra vinyl, my tools, a Sharpie, a pen, scissors, this washcloth to help me when I'm weeding, some measurements, and then down there is my actual computer. Up here in the corner, I've got two little lovely shelves. These came from Hobby Lobby, if you're interested. And that came from Hobby Lobby as well, and I think that too. I have my road mic, and this is just a little container. I've got planners and notebooks here, some faux greenery that I like to use for photography and mock-ups and stuff. Two more pictures of me and my husband and just some little camera things. Then, like I mentioned, this wall is my giant window. These are plantation shutters, so they can be shut like this or shut down. And they open up like this as well, so I love them. They are absolutely awesome. Over to the right hand side of that is my new little mirror area. I got this mirror from TJ Maxx. Let me shut these blinds a little so it'll show a little better. But I got this mirror from Home Goods and it was a really good price. It is massive. Um, but we have like not, I want to say like nine foot ceilings. So it's probably close to like height wise. Um, I'm 5'8", so it's probably six feet tall. It is absolutely beautiful though. I love it. I got a cute little yellow rug here from Target. Just my sandals I was wearing earlier. This is my bag. This is also from Target. If I'm like going anywhere to do work, that's what I take. I really wanted a good little photo area so that whenever I wanted to style a t-shirt or show a new design or something, I could use this mirror kind of like a blogger style sort of situation. And I'm really, really loving this thing. I really think I want to do a little chair, 
ottoman, maybe a plant. I'm going to kind of build out this area as time goes on as well. And then I've got my softbox light. And then we pull down over here. We've got this little dresser with another mirror. It looks like a little window pane um, and some decor. This stuff down here is actually wallpaper. It's removable wallpaper. Uh, peel and stick removable wallpaper from Target. This is actually the shiplap design and I got three of them and I think that's what I'm going to put all over this wall here to kind of give it more of an accent look and this is more of my like pretty side that I'm probably going to use for Instagram photos and things of that sort and just other content. So I really want this to look good. So I'm going to actually put this on there tomorrow. Like I said, I got these from Target and they have a ton of other patterns too. Um, I'll link these ones down below if you guys are interested along with a couple other things mentioned in the video as much as I can find. Then I have this little guy over here. Like I mentioned, I have this little mirror. This is from Clay's grandparents' house. Um, I love this mirror. It's so cute. Looks like a little window pane. I have my Coke I'm drinking, my other vlogging camera, my, um, what is this called? Like incense burner and my little incense back there. Got a clear little jar with some kind of like boho wheat little leaves and then my camera lens cap. In these drawers, down in the very bottom, this is a lot of beauty stuff. So I tend to get ready in this room sometimes. So I'll just kind of like sit down here, plug everything in and get ready. Um, so I leave that kind of stuff in here. Um, it's just mirrors, hair supplies, stuff like that. Then in this drawer, I've got a lot of random stuff. So some black, um, just stick on vinyl, it's not iron on, some transfer paper, a camera strap, a three hole punch, a happy planner punch, um, this is a little vlog camera bag, two little tripods, a stapler, I've got my Canon M50 box, the lens for that, I've got my podcast mic, and then some little um, tripod accessories. So in this top drawer are all of my extra t-shirts for my t-shirt shop. So I've got some tie-dye shirts which are new to my shop. I am obsessed with them. That is a little hard to see right now, but it's super duper cute. Um, these are just some random shirts I accidentally got made back here. This is a little tagger for my clothes if I want to put um, little tags on them to hang off. And then I've got just some popular colors here, like of different colors that tend to go out of stock and are ordered a lot in my shop. Under here is just some extra shipping supplies, so tissue paper and my mailers. Right now I have these really cute snakeskin ones. And that brings us back to the door area. Behind the door I keep my ring light and my camera stand, um, mostly just because I leave them like that and I pull them out to film my videos for YouTube and usually my background is something along these lines. So there you have it guys, that is the tour of my office. Alrighty guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing a little behind the scenes tour of my office, how I have it set up, and how it works for me, and kind of how it is functional, and I like to keep things tucked away and kind of stored and organized. Hopefully gave you some really good ideas if you are decorating your office or maybe you work from home and you need some more inspiration for how to decorate your space or make it more functional for you. Right here on the screen, I'm gonna put for you guys another video that I think you'll love to watch after this one as well as an entire playlist surrounding my Etsy tips which you guys love to watch. And lastly, I'm gonna put my subscribe button right here so you guys can stick around on this channel for more videos. I upload every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Without further ado guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!